In this video, I'd like to talk about three types of traversal over a binary tree data structure like this. Now, there are three types of traversal that I'd like to talk about. The first one's called in order, the next one's called post order, and then the last one is called pre order. Now, traversal through a tree like this, you know, we typically start with our node or our root node, and then we can traverse down to the left or to the right side to kind of explore through this tree. Just like you were searching for a piece of data in here, you're going to explore to the left or to the right, which eat, you know, which with each one of these nodes to determine where you're trying to get to. With these traversal types, these are ways of exploring all of the nodes within a tree in various orders. So if we take a look at in order, because this is a sorted binary tree, we know that everything to the left of the five, or the left of our root node, or actually the left of any of our nodes, is going to be less than the current node. And then anything to the right of it is going to be greater. In order traversal, because of that knowledge, essentially says, let's explore everything to the left, everything that's less than, then we'll explore the current node, and then we'll explore everything to the right. So what I mean by that, let's go through this example. Here, if we do an in-order traversal, let's pretend that we're doing an in-order traversal to print all of the data within this tree. Now, these traversals can be used for other types of functioning. It's like we want to sum up all of the data here or do some other complex math within, you know, on all of the elements within this tree. But for this example, let's imagine that we're writing a print function. And this print function is going to do an in-order traversal. And so the way that this function would work is we would say first, Let's print the node to the left, then we'll print ourselves, and then we will print the node to our right. In this case here, the five, when we go to print this node, it would first print the three. Now when we go to print this three, it would first print the two, right? So notice how it's sort of recursively working its way down the tree. So each node is gonna do this in order print, right? So to print a node, it does the left side, itself and then the right side. So the five says, first I need to print the three node. And then when you go to print the three node, it says, well, first I need to print the two node, and then I need to print myself, and then I'm gonna print this four node, All right? So we're gonna do left side itself and then the right side. Five goes to print the three. The three goes to print the two to start. The two goes to print what's on its left, which is nothing. And then it prints itself, two. Then it goes to print what's on the right, which is nothing. So it says, okay, I'm done. We go back to here to the three. And the three says, well, I've printed everything to my left, so now I'm gonna print myself, three. And then I'm gonna print everything to my right. The four goes to print itself, and it says, well, I need to print my left, which is nothing. I print myself, four. And then I print what's on my right, which is nothing. The three says, okay, I'm done. I've printed my left, myself, and my right, two, three, four. And then we go back to the five. The five says, okay, well, I just finished printing my left. Now I'm going to print myself, five. And then I need to print my right. To print this node here, the seven, it needs to print its left, which is the six, then itself, the seven, and then finally what's on the right, eight. In order traversal, and this is why it's called in order, is because it ends up traversing through these elements in their sorted order. Post order. Post order explores elements to the left, to the right, and then the node itself. So if we were writing a print function that used post order, what this would end up doing is the five would explore to the left first, the three would explore to the left first, and we get something like this, two comma four. The three is gonna print the two, then the four, then itself, which is a three. Then the five, which just printed the three, is then gonna follow suit by printing the seven next. The seven node is gonna print six, eight, seven. Six, eight, seven, and then finally, the five is going to be printed last. This gives us a representation of how these nodes, nodes are actually kind of stored in memory. And we know that five is the root node because it was actually the last thing to get printed here, right? Pre-order. Pre-order is sort of the opposite of post-order. Pre-order prints the current node that it's on, then it prints the left, and then it prints the right. So if we were to do a pre-order print function for this tree, we would start by printing five. 
the node would print itself first. Then it's going to do the left, and the three is going to print itself. Then it's going to do the two, then the four. The two, four, and three have already finished printing. Right? The five has already printed because it's a pre-order, so it printed itself first. Then it's going to do the seven. The seven is going to print itself first, followed by a six, and then an eight. This is in order, post-order, and pre-order traversal on a binary tree structure.